To close, Mary McCarthy again, this time with the issue of health. There's a new study in the state of Colorado that shows that there are just not enough doctors for everyone's needs. This has been a problem in rural USA for a long time. Now it's affecting the citizen as well. Dr. Ozzie Granardo's private practice here in the suburbs of Denver keeps him busy. When I get sick, I really get sick. But several times a month, he also travels to small towns in Colorado that don't have a resident physician. The demand that's there is outstanding. It's, it's remarkable to see how many people actually need care. And it's not just rural areas in Colorado that don't have enough doctors. Several densely populated counties are also affected. We see it every day. The urban clinics and even some of the suburban clinics really have a lack of providers, whether or not it's PCPs or then the specialists to help. Experts attribute the problem in part to the fact that Colorado doesn't have many doctor training programs or residencies. Physicians tend to practice close to where they either live or where they trained. So there's definitely interest right now at thinking through whether or not we have enough residency programs in areas where we want doctors to eventually locate in the future. State and federal officials recently partnered to create a program addressing the issue by offering to forgive medical school loans for graduates who opt to work in areas where there's an acute doctor shortage. Here in Colorado and in many places around the U.S., the challenge is not just finding a doctor, but finding a doctor who will accept your specific health insurance. Physicians have the right to pick and choose which patients to see and which ones to refuse. So there may be providers who are available to see someone um, in a community, either in a rural setting or an urban setting, but because they don't take that insurance, that then prevents them from having the access that they need. It's a struggle for a lot of people. Many doctors say they just can't afford to see patients on Medicaid, the government-run health insurance program for poor people. In an ever-increasing competitive environment, it becomes a, a process of making sure that their patient base is one that can support the practice. Recent data shows that low-income Coloradans have the worst access to doctors and often simply have to go to the hospital when their needs become urgent. Last resort is to then go to the emergency room for primary care, which is what none of us want to see because we feel like that's more expensive care and less appropriate care for patients. Many regions are simply learning to function with fewer doctors and depending more on support staff. There's a lot of questions about whether or not team-based care that really relies more heavily on sort of the nurse practitioners and physician assistant models and even um, care navigators, whether or not that adds capacity to the system that then sort of frees up physicians and others to um, really focus on people that need sort of the acute care or have chronic ongoing conditions. Colorado has been changing its laws to allow nurses to take on greater responsibilities in areas where there just aren't enough doctors to go around. Mary McCarthy for Teleser, Denver.